Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. Laura Yamada has the night off. Got ahi? You may have it now, but will there be enough around when the holidays, when the demand is high? KITV4's Catherine Cruz is here with news about local fishermen hitting a cap on ahi sooner than expected. Catherine? Well, Paula, this is the second year of a quota on how much ahi local fishermen can pull from our waters. It's a new routine, so everyone's watching with great interest. The hunt for ahi always gets more interesting as the holidays roll around. Hawaii's appetite for fish is well primed for parties. Our seafood consumption is the highest in the U.S. And the prediction from scientists to the council that manages the Western Pacific region is this. The Hawaiian fleet will reach its quota sometime in mid-November uh, in one of the two quota areas that it operates in and will shift to the other one. Currently, fishermen are out trolling on the west side, and if predictions hold about reaching the catch limits sooner than later, Hawaii fishermen will be forced to head 150 miles further east of Hilo. No one, you or I or no one else, can say what effect that will have on supply or demand, because we don't know. We're just going fishing like we always do. If the catch limits in the west are reached about a month earlier than when the demand for fresh fish peaks, what does that mean for consumers? Well, if you talk to Jim Cook, the owner of six fishing vessels, it's not time to fret over your fish just yet. When we get to the east, the question is, is there fish there? We're working on that. We think there is. And we, we, we expect there to be no difference in supply. If there is less locally caught ahi, it's likely other fish from other areas will make up the difference. But there are those who believe fish from Hawaiian waters are top of the line, and they're willing to pay top dollar. Cook says Hawaii's fishery is the most regulated, and while there are international quotas, you don't see others abiding by the quota. We are the model for the rest of the world who doesn't really obey these regulations. The gentleman honoring a gentleman's agreement. By the way, the Western Fisheries uh, Pacific Fisheries Management Council meets later this year to revisit the quota system. We'll see what they decide. Back to you, Paula.